The Bangladesh Air Force is the aerial warfare branch of the Bangladesh Armed Forces. Primarily tasked with an aerial defense of Bangladesh with a role of providing air support to Bangladesh Army and Navy. The Bangladesh Air Force, being the first line of defense for Bangladesh employs around 22,000 full-time personnel, including 1,500 pilots and currently operates around 190 aircraft. Bangladesh Air Force has a territorial role of providing strategic air transport and logistics capability to Bangladesh. Bangladesh Air Force has been part of major operations such as Operation Desert Storm, Gulf War, and Chittagong Hill Tracts Operation. The BAF has been an active participant in United Nations peacekeeping missions. In Defence IQ 2011 International Fighter Aircraft Conference in London, the Air Force revealed their long-term advancement and procurement plan to induct seven squadron fighter jet by 2021. Since its establishment in 21 September 1971, the Air Force has been involved in various combat and humanitarian operations. According to the Constitution of Bangladesh, President of Bangladesh act as the civilian commander-in-chief and chief of air staff. By statute a three-star air officer commands the Air Force. The Bangladesh Air Force is currently commanded by Air Marshal Abu Ezra, BBP, NDC, ACSC. The Bangladesh Air Force was established in 1971 with 300 personnel from Pakistan Air Force. The Bangladesh Air Force's current strength is 22,000 active personnel and 15,000 reserve personnel. History Foundation The Bangladesh Air Force was officially formed at the Sector Commanders Conference during its independence war from Pakistan in 1971. Its official date of formation has been established as 28 September 1971 and it was launched formally by the government on 8 October 1971. Out of 11 BDF sectors, the most tactically significant sector, the Central Sector, Sector 11, was in command of a BAF officer including Sector 6. A significant number of BAF personnel participated in the Bangladesh War of Independence. Initially, BAF was formed with all officers and airmen of Bengali origin serving in the Pakistan Air Force prior to the war. At that time, the embryo of Bangladesh Air Force was formed with less than 100 officers and a quite good number of airmen and warrant officers. During the Independence War, officers of the BAF attached to the Z Force were then BD Gov representative to Chakulia Guerrilla TRNG, Camp Squadron Leader M. Hamidullah Khan, later Subsector Commander and as Commander Sector 11, Flight Lieutenant Liakut as Battalion Adjutant, Flying Officer Roof, Flying Officer Ashraf and Flight Sergeant Shafer Kula as Company Commanders. Squadron Leader Sadruddin Hussain, Squadron Leader Wahajur Rahim, Squadron Leader Narul Kader, Squadron Leader Shamshur Rahman and Air Commodore Atul Rahman as Subsector Company Commanders. Squadron Leader Kader Mule Bashar participated in the war as Commander Sector 6. Bangladesh Air Force was organized in India with the initiative of Squadron Leader Sultan Mahmood, Captain Shahabuddin Ahmed. Captain Akram Ahmed and Captain Satar and Captain Safuddin. Later many Bangladeshi ex-PAF officers joined in Bangladesh Air Force in India. Finally Bangladesh Air Force was formed in late July 1971. Indian Air Force trained these officers July 1971 through November 1971 as fighter pilots. Bangladesh Air Force first went in action on 3 December 1971 and attacked the Chittagong-based oil tank depot An oil tank depot was totally destroyed by that air attack. The air attack was conducted by Captain Akram Ahmed. The second Bangladesh Air Force attack was on 6 December 1971 at Mulovi by Pakatani Army Barracks under the command of Squadron Leader Sultan Mahmood, where Captain Shahabuddin Ahmed was co-pilot. 
Indian civilian authorities and the IAF donated one DC-3 Dakota, one twin otter plane, and one Alouette 3 helicopter for the newborn Bangladesh Air Force, which was to take advantage of the lack of night fighting capability of the PAF to launch hit and run attacks on sensitive targets inside Bangladesh. From the air, the Bengali rank and file fixed up the World War II vintage runway at Dimapur, then began rigging the aircraft for combat duty. The Dakota was modified to carry 500 pound bombs, but for technical reasons it was only used to ferry Bangladesh government personnel. Captain Abdul Kalek, Captain Alam Gursata, and Captain Abdul Mukut, all destined to earn the Burpratik Awards, piloted the Dakota. The helicopter was rigged to fire 14 rockets from pylons attached to its side and had 303 Browning machine guns installed. In addition to having one-inch steel plate welded to its floor for extra protection, squadron leader Sultan Mahmood, flight lieutenant Bodia Alam, and Captain Shahabuddin, all of whom later won the Baratam Award, operated the helicopter. The Otter boasted seven rockets under each of its wings and could deliver 10 25-pound bombs which were rolled out of the aircraft by hand through a makeshift door. Flight LT, Shamsul Alam, along with Captain Zakram Ahmed and Shah Fuddin Ahmed, flew the Otter. All three were later awarded Buratam for their service in 1971. This tiny force was dubbed Kilo Flight, the first fighting formation of the nascent Bangladesh Air Force. Mahmood was appointed as the commander of the Kilo Flight. Air Force personnel in 1971 during the Bangladesh War of Independence 1971. Many career Air Force officers from eastern Pakistan and airmen participated in different sectors in Bangladesh and also at the headquarters. Below are a list of some notable participants. Wing Commander M. Hamidullah Khan PAF BAF deceased BDF Commander Sector 11 Air Vice Marshal Kardamul Bashar PAF BAF deceased BDF Commander Sector 6 Air Vice Marshal Sadruddin Hussain PAF BAF retired BDF Subset or Commander Air Commodore Atul Roman PAF BAF retired Squadron Leader Wahadur Rahim PAF BAF retired squadron leader Narul Kadar PAF BAF retired squadron leader Shamshur Rahman PAF BAF retired Air Vice Marshal Sultan Mahmood PAF BAF retired squadron leader Narul Islam PAF BAF retired group captain Shamsul Alam PAF BAF retired flight lieutenant Badrul Alam Baratam PAF BAF Retired Flight Lieutenant Masha Rahman Bershresh though PAF killed during attempt to defect to Bangladesh in 1971. Flight Lieutenant Liakert PAF BAF Retired Flight Lieutenant Iqbal Rashid PAF BAF Retired Flying Officer Roof PAF BAF Retired Group Captain AKM Mosin PAF BAF Deceased Group Captain Ashraf PAF BAF Retired Flight Sergeant Abu Yusuf Khan PAF BAF Retired Flight Sergeant Shafer Kula PAF BAF Retired non-combatant staff group Captain A.K. Kandka PAF BAF was assigned as the Deputy Chief of Staff at the end of July 1971 under Lieutenant Colonel Abdul Rab who remained in Camilla during the war. His primary responsibility consisted of liaison with local Indian officials and defense personnel at Kalyani, Calcutta. Distinguished Personnel Group Captain M. G. Tarmab PAF BAF stayed in the Pakistan Air Force during the Independence War and only returned to Dhaka after Bangladesh became independent in 16 December 1971. He joined Bangladesh forces the following day after returning to Dhaka as Deputy CNC at BDF HQ at Dhaka Cantonment. Talwood remained in that post until 7 April 1972. Group Captain Safir Lazam PAF BAF 
After independence after independence, the BAF received a significant donation from the former USSR. Among the aircraft delivered were 10 single-seat Miko Yangurovich MiG-21 MFs and two twin-seat Miko Yangurovich MiG-21 NUMS. Later China also supplied some equipment. Apart from the aircraft of Kilo Flight which were donated to India, most Pakistan Air Force aircraft grounded in Dhaka due to runway cratering by the Indian Air Force during the Liberation War, were sabotaged before surrender. Many of these were also returned to service by Bangladeshi ground technicians. The Pakistan Air Force prior to 1971 had a large number of Bengali pilots, air traffic controllers, technicians and administrative offices. Many of them distinguished themselves during the Bangladesh Liberation War. They provided the nascent Bangladesh Air Force with a good number of trained personnel. Defense cooperation improved with Pakistan considerably under the military regimes of Ziar Rahman and Hussein Muhammad Urshid in Bangladesh, which had grown more distant from its war ally, India. Common concerns over India's regional power have influenced strategic cooperation leading to a gift of several squadrons of refurbished Shenyang F-6 fighter aircraft from Pakistan to the Bangladesh Air Force in the late 1980s. Bangladesh Air Force Academy received national colors in 2003 by the then Honorable Prime Minister. Even the recruits' training school has been awarded with BAF colors by ex-chief of air staff in 2004. Forces Goal 2030 The Bangladesh Air Force has an ambitious modernization plan to be implemented in upcoming years under Forces Goal 2030. As per the goal, Air Force is to be a strong deterrent force to well protect the sky of Bangladesh. Plans are made to strengthen both air power and air defense capabilities. Currently, the BAF has concentrated on improving its trainer fleet and air defense capabilities. BAF has taken the delivery of 16 Chengdu F-7 BGI fighter aircraft, 9 K-8W basic trainer aircraft, 11 mil Mi-171 SH combat transport helicopters, 3 Let L-410 turbolet transport trainer, 6 Yakovlev Yak-130 advanced jet trainers and 2 Augusta Westland AW-139 maritime SAR helicopters from 2010 to 2015. BAF is now awaiting to take delivery of 10 more Yak-130 aircraft, 5 mil Mi-171 SH combat transport helicopter, new 12 Nanchang PT-6S and 1 mil Mi-171 E helicopter. BAF earned the surface-to-air missile capability by introducing FM-90 short-range air defense missile in 2011. Currently, Air Force is awaiting for the delivery of LY-80E medium-range SAM system. Bangladesh Air Force will also receive Casta 2E and Gamma air defense radars soon. BAF is also in the process of acquiring new 4th, 4 plus plus generations fighters soon. Besides, the force is trying to make its own surveillance drones, which are expected to come in service by 2017. UN mission deployment more than 600 plus BAF personnel, including officers and airmen. 10 BAF helicopters and are currently deployed to various UN missions. Another C-130 transport aircraft is providing support to UN mission in Africa. With the deployment of C-130 aircraft and its personnel, Bangladesh became the largest troops contributing country in UN peacekeeping missions. Organizational structure. The Bangladesh Air Force is headed by the Chief of Air Staff and has its HQ at Dhaka Cantonment. HQ has three branches operations and training, administration and special duties, and material and maintenance. Each branch is headed by officers who are considered as principal staff officer and known as assistant chief of air staff, e.g., ACAS. 
Under each Pateo there are various directorates headed by directors of Group Captain, Air Commodore Rank. Under each director there are deputy directors headed by wing commanders and staff officers worth rank of squadron leader and below. Command structure or ranks. Commissioned officer ranks Bangladesh Air Force Junior Commissioned officer ranks. In descending order, Bangladesh Air Force branches. Branches of Bangladesh Air Force are General duties. General duties. Air defense weapons controlling. Air traffic controlling. Meteorology, Engineering, Logistics, Administration, Finance, Accounts, Education, Legal, Medical, Trades, Trades of Bangladesh Air Force, Aircraft Engineering, Electrical and Instrument Engineering, Communications and Electronics, General Engineering, Mechanical Transport Fitting, Mechanical Transport Operating, Armament Engineering, Radio Engineering, Ground Signaling, Radar Operating, Life-Saving Equipment, Photography, Air Traffic Control, Education, Cipher, Meteorological, Medical, Secretarial, Supply, General Service, Provost, Catering, Musician, Air Crew, Ground Combat, Administrative Assistance, Installations, BAF headquarters is located in Dhaka Cantonment. There are numerous bases set up all over the country. BAF Base Kardamul Bashar Dhaka, BAF Base Bungabundu Dhaka, BAF Base Zahu Rul Hak Chittagong and BAF Base Mesha Raman Jessa are named after national as well as Air Force heroes. Other major bases are BAF Base Paha Kanjanpur Tang Island Forward Operations Base at Cox's Bizarre. There are also several independent units and detachments in places like Monlavi Bazaar Radar Unit, Bogra Radar Unit, Lamanir Hat Unit, No. 74 Squadron Bangladesh Air Force at Chittagong and No. 71 Squadron Bangladesh Air Force at Dhaka and Shamshurnagar. Bangladesh Air Force Academy is the commissioned officer training academy for all branches of Bangladesh Air Force. It is located at BAF Base Mesha Rahman in Jessa. Recruits Training School is the Airman Training Center for all trades of Bangladesh Air Force. It is located at BAFC and M Unit Shamsha Nagar in Malvi Bazaar. Aircraft. See also List of historic aircraft of the Bangladesh Air Force for a list of historical aircraft of the Bangladesh Air Force. Current Inventory Guided Weapons. Future Modernization Program The BAF has an ongoing modernization program under Force's Goal 2030 to become a strong force to defend the sky of Bangladesh. It has plans to acquire both modern aircraft and air defense capabilities. Recently the Prime Minister of Bangladesh declared that Bangladesh Air Force will be turned into a strategically and technically sound, strong, and capable force through its further modernization by 2021, the golden jubilee of the country's independence. The BAF ordered a total of 16 Yakovlev Yak-130 lead-in fighter trainer from Russia in 2013. Six aircraft were received in 2015 and inducted into fleet while other 10 will be delivered within 2016. Besides, Gamada and Castor 2E radar are also ordered from Russia. All these come under $1 billion credit line provided by Russia in 2013. BAF also bought 5 mil Mi-171 SH combat transport helicopters in 2014 and ordered five more in 2015. The aging fleet of Nanchang PT-6 basic trainers will be replaced by new 12 PT-6S soon. Bangladesh is also negotiating with the U.S. government for the regeneration, overhaul, modifications and logistics support for four off-the-shelf Lockheed Martin C-130S, 20 engines and associated parts, equipment, and training for an estimated cost of $180 million.